Welcome back to Lake Lot Build. You have to forgive us. We had uh, a delay, and the delay was combinations. We are, are no different than anything anybody else trying to build, uh, you know, at the end of this pandemic and trying to get the products and the manufacturers and all of those different items to get coordinated. Um, but with that being said, we've been delayed about 21 days, which is not too bad. The other thing is, is that it actually allowed us to let our roof dry and we were able to take the jacks or the supports down. And so with that, let's turn around and I'll show you what a house is looking like without all the bracing on there. And there she is. So let's go inside here and we'll go for a little tour. As I'm walking down in here, you can hear David has brought the uh, Bobcat. They're going to start working on our two decks that are they're going to be on the back of the house. So we need to clean up some trash, move some gravel, and then our concrete boxes or pads that the steel columns are going to be set on. He's going to get those moved out of the way. But in the meantime, let's uh, show you some items that have shown up. So this here is going to be the steel that is going to be our back deck. And the reason that I chose steel is that I'm trying to build a house that is going to be about as maintenance free as possible. So we are going to go with a concrete deck for the first floor and the basement floor. So let's go inside and see what a house looks like with light deck, the clear span of 24 feet by 50 feet. Let me go over here and then I'll scoot back and let you guys see this. And I know the camera doesn't do it justice, but it is enormous in here. It is, uh, what's so cool is it feels like this house has just doubled in size. So I'm standing in the garage. So right here is going to be our two by six wall that is gonna be garage and then living. So you'll come in the front door here. Scoot around so you can see it front door here and you walk in and bam there's a gigantic window and the door that goes to the back deck so let's walk over here and let you guys get a view of what our view of our living kitchen and dining area is going to be and then let's go peek over the edge here and I'll show you the work that David's doing in here in the back so right now, we got our concrete blocks, and those concrete blocks were extra concrete left over from each one of our pours, and so we made boxes to put them in, and the columns will sit on these here. Let me scoot over the edge. So our deck is going to come out 12 feet is going to be the end of the deck and so these blo these blocks are going to come in i think it's going to be about a 10 foot six we'll have just a little cantilever at the edge of them but right now he's going to get the blocks out of the way we're going to take this gravel which will come down here and will spread out but for all that to happen this is our debris we'll take that down there here and we'll try to burn this wood and get that out of the way. Plumbing, we'll get that removed. Steel, we'll get that removed. Steel removed. Things like that. This rock here is going to go over on this other side as a retaining wall for our driveway. Over here, is where our upstairs vanity or bathroom is going to be. So powder room will have a toilet and a sink there. And then this will be, of course, railing here. And then we'll go downstairs. So over here is all the steel 
That will be for all of our railing. And so, we go over to this guy. And I have taught myself how to weld, so we'll have a few little uh, inserts to show me learning how to weld in my driveway back at home. But, I set one of these up and you guys can gotta get a uh, deal here of what it's gonna look like. Okay. So if you can imagine this is our roof, or this is our deck, or anything like that. These will be anchored into the concrete. I welded these plates on. This is our piping. I took these to a, uh, a place here called DeVille Steel, and they were able to cope in this half circle so that the pipe, same pipe, will sit on there. And then I just weld around like that. So cool, very easy. Looks really good. I'm really happy with it. So let's go downstairs now. We can walk down here without all the bracing in the way. So let's go take a look. So these anchors here were left because that's where the floor the floor is going to come across here, and that's where that bathroom's going to be. So then you walk under it, we go in, and voila! Here's our basement have bedroom, 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 bathroom. Go over here, sorry if I was moving too fast. Bathroom over here, then over here is the washer and dryer, and then our utility room, which will be back here. So, the guys are finishing up last of this banding that held up the light deck. And so we are past our 30 days from the roof, and it's like 90 days for our garage pour. So we're well within our, our parameters to take all this down. And it's amazing, it really looks good. Let's go out here and peek and see the work David's working on. What do you think, buddy? That's the problem. I'm thinking it right now. <laughs> trying to figure out. I've got this much skid steer and this much path. I see it. Looks like I might have to go get me a shovel then, huh? I don't know. <laughs> okay, we've seen the basement and the first floor and the back. So now, let's go to the roof. I am now standing on the roof of my house. So let's turn around and show you guys what this view up here looks like. Look at that. Wow, there's the bridge right over there. I wonder if I can zoom in on that. Peek over the edge. He's gonna get that gravel moved out of the way, and then we'll just scoop up our trash down there. Okay, now let's talk about some of the things that we've come across that we are going to have to, um, some streams we're gonna have to cross here. So, if you guys remember, let me zoom to get down here. When we had our concrete pour, we had our little area here that bulged out right there. So you can see they've cut, the, they put a string line on it. Hopefully that can, you can see it. So, we have this company, it's called Cutting and Coring Company and they will come out here, saw that edge off there, and then we'll shave that styrofoam back so that the wall will then, when we put our siding on it, we'll be able to make it appear and come back straight. And we have to do the same thing down this front wall over here. So it had a bulge on it and nobody caught it. And you couldn't really see it when we were pouring, but if you look down there, it leans out ever so slightly. So we'll have to do the same thing on the front, but it is what it is. 
know, some people get upset about things like this, but when it comes down to it, you really just have to remember, we're designed it by man, we're building it by man, placed it by man, we're gonna have, you know, little margins of error. And uh, so these are things that we're gonna have to figure out and take care of. The other thing is, we need to look at this, is the roof. We have a low spot right there and it's holding some water. We use the Zypex in it, but we still have some drips in there. All right, so we have poured our roof and we have some low areas. Mm -hmm. What does the master do to take care of that? Hmm. <laughs> Here's what we've come up with. All right. We have a half inch of low spot right here. Okay, let me turn and around then there. As it, as it goes down towards the edge, it gets down towards about a quarter of an inch. We, okay. just, we just poured some water out of a five gallon bucket to see how much it's going to do. So we're gonna get self-leveling concrete. Um, not quite the viscosity of water, but it's close. And we've got it marked on the concrete where the high spots are. So we're going to uh, let that dry off and then we'll mix up the self-leveling concrete, pour it in and uh, and get it hopefully as perfect as we can. And then you're gonna come back with another membrane that will actually waterproof the whole concrete pad. So with, with the self-leveling and then with what you're gonna do with, the, with, the, uh, uh, with that membrane, I think that we'll have a perfectly dry roof. Wonderful. So what you've done here is we've used a, just a simple pencil to mm -hmm. mark out. You can see the line across here. Yep. And so you'll just put the self-leveling and then you just what just kind of get it close to it and yeah, let it do its deal. And again, it's not it's not as runny as water, but it's really close. Okay. And so when you pour it in, uh, you just kind of use a like a squeegee to just kind of move it and, and let it then self-level and, and fall back into the low spots. And um, you know, it might be a two-step process, it might be a three-step process. We'll just have to see. Okay. But we'll get it right. Wonderful. Thanks, mm -hmm. buddy. Over the weekend, my wife and my little boy and I came down here to start taking down all the bracing. And it was really enjoyable to watch my little boy. He's 11. He wasn't real happy about <laughs> wanting to take screws out and move the wood around. But once he got into it and started doing it, he really enjoyed it. He was working his butt off. I mean, it was crazy. The little kid was sweating like crazy. Um, but it was nice to see that my little man was out here helping me. And he's to the age now. He's going to remember this and remember that he had a help in building our house. Well, we've come to the end of the work day here. And uh, we've made some great progress. And David is over here I'm putting everything away to head it to back to the house. We'll scoop the skid steer out of the way. And uh, we will hit this, and uh, I think it's not today. Today's Monday, so Wednesday we'll be here. We'll have the whole framing crew. And they will take this wood, these two by six that are here, would be this wall here that separates the garage from the house. And then we'll do all the framing uh, for the downstairs. The other thing that they're going to do, I'll just peek over the shop top here. So we got our blocks, so pretty close. They're within a couple, about a foot. That's where our columns for our deck will be. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to build the first floor deck first, and then we'll build the basement deck. And the reason that is done is so that we don't drip concrete on our lower deck. So, looks really good. Burned some wood today. Got that out of the way. Those are the rocks that we're going to have to move around. So, my next item is to get a hold of Bobby and see if we can get him out here and have him work his magic while these guys are doing the framing. So, make sure and tune in next time. We're back in action here. So, again, my apologies for any sort of delay. But I know a bunch of you guys were waiting uh, to hear from us and the reason for the delay of course was we're gonna let this concrete cure out and before we could pull all those jacks down or the uh, supports down but everything's down and we're ready to rock so talk to you guys soon